And in my weight class, I always have an idea of who's in my weight class. I'm always sizing everybody up. So regardless, like months before the fights happened, I've thought about the guy. I've thought about how I'm going to beat him, um, how I'm going to go about the fights. I think Cedric is a very tough competitor. I was actually thinking about it the other day. Um, literally the year I started martial arts, Cedric was fighting, uh, was fighting Demart for the EFC bantamweight title. So for me, in terms of my own personal growth, to see how I'm now fighting or getting the opportunity to come across these guys and test my skills against them, um, it, it's big for me. Like, I have a lot of respect for Cedric. I've always been friendly with him. I mean, we're always at the events together, coaching our guys, just chatting. So, like, there's no um, animosity against him, but obviously, a fight's a fight. And I know he's coming to take my head off, so I'm planning to do the same. So, uh, Raymond Tatut as opponent is a, is a great guy. I like Raymond. I've got respect for anybody that tries to pursue this full time. Unfortunately, in my generation, we're a bit behind. So, um, yeah, couldn't pursue it full time like he does. Um, I hope he makes millions of dollars out of this fight career one day. I wish him all the best. And uh, I like Raymond, always on the scenes. Uh, we, we cordial with each other, we chat and um, about experiences, our last fights. So, um, yeah, I like Raymond a lot. Um, preparing for Raymond, I'm not really specifically preparing for Raymond. I'm preparing to fight anybody anytime. Uh, I'm not studying his footage or anything like that. Um, I know he's got a good triangle, so obviously I need to stay out of his guard. But, um, yeah, just, just my all-around training, doing my own thing, and uh, let's see what happens. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is a time that a lot of people have been looking forward to. The inaugural Submission Kings Combat Jiu-Jitsu title awaits, and it's going down in a few moments' time. Let's go back to our commentary team for the tale of the tech. Thank you so much, CS. Uh, well, for those of you that have not been entertained tonight, we switch over to our first title fight of the night, which promises to be an absolute slap fest. Long been lauded as the top amateur MMA athlete in the country uh, and recently stepping up into the professional circuit, he goes up against the veteran, uh, veteran in Cedric Doyle. See us over to you. Well, it's the moment many of you have been waiting for. It's finally arrived. It is the inaugural Submission Kings Combat Jiu-Jitsu title on the line. A fan favorite between two amazing talents. Put your hands together from the red corner, riding a wave of momentum, representing Quan Vessels. Please welcome Razor Raymond Acuts. His opponent represents Secunda and his gym, the Dominator's Den. Please welcome Cedric, the Dominator, Doyle. Your referee in charge is Bobby Caraginides. Well, folks, we have a match on our hands. Um, Raymond Akut in the full black and uh, Cedric Doyle in the black and red. Um, the referee most definitely just reiterating the rules of uh, combat jiu-jitsu, making sure the competitors understand when they are allowed to strike. Um, Raymond coming out with the entire crew from uh, Quan Vessels. Uh, obviously, we have to just uh, lay our allegiances on the table, Taffy. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's understand that uh, a training partner of ours. But obviously, we, we understand um, uh, who he is up against. And uh, Cedric is a absolute, absolute legend in the sport of MMA in South Africa. So we are expecting a great match. Yeah. So. <coughs> this rule is very interesting. Obviously, it's a normal no gi fight. Oh, but once they're on the we floor, go. Ray, they basically Ray can getting start. Down. Yeah, yeah, they can start slapping with an open palm, um, and slaps can go anywhere really. There's uh, to the head, to the body, wherever you feel is appropriate. Very heavy chin strap. 
There we go. Oh, straight to the straight face, to the uh, face. At the bottom there. Um, and, uh, Raymond looking at some some kind of head and arm tie up, uh, a variation of a DAS or anaconda. Um, but Cedric Cedric with his uh, hand firmly around that head, making sure that he controls posture, trying to flatten him out. Referee Bobby making sure that they don't fall off that stage. So Ray's going to try and get underneath him um, and hopefully reverse the position. Um, there he is, he's trying to side control now. And they'll reset in the center of the, of the mat. Ray already taking a couple of heavy shots. Yo, um, those, uh, yeah, I think I may see some blood coming from the nose. Uh, but uh, as, uh, as as some of our folks at home need to understand that uh, we're not going to stop uh, stop for blood in <laughs> this one. Uh, the fighters will continue, and uh, that's the name of the game in combat jiu-jitsu. Humans are barbaric at times, right? We want to see blood. We love to see blood, and we love to see combat. There we go, Cedric just settling his position before he starts to uh, rain down on some of those slaps once again. Um, Ray offering up his back. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of getting getting into the realms of MMA here where you would allow an exposure of your back in order to get out of a tough position, but he has to watch out for that Ray's head. Um, I look at Ray's oh, fantastic. Ray's Absolutely scrambling. fantastic work as he works his way into half guard. I wonder what they weighed in it, because Cedric looks... That, that, that looks, is an interesting one. I was here this morning heavy. when they weighed in. Uh, Cedric had to do the old school uh, towel weigh in, uh, get uh, drop the drop all of his rods to make sure that he made weight, but he did to his uh, okay. to his credit. Ray came in uh, slightly, slightly under the regulation weight. Um, you know, uh, full professionalism from the Pond Vessel Stadium to ensure that they're on weight. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, that's one thing that one of my bear bugs that we have within the South African MMA jiu-jitsu scene, you know, people just are not held accountable, right? And they don't make weight and there's no consequences. We need to start developing a culture um, of some form of, I don't know whether integrity is the right word, but we need accountability, I think is probably the better word, um, where people are made more accountable for not making weight, where it starts to hurt them. Sure. Oh, you know, fant because fantastic transition here, uh, Cedric. He's in that quarter guard position. Uh, he's got the uh, the head attached. Uh, he's looking for that arm so that he could get the the gift wrap, and, and I think he's making his making progress towards that. Yeah. But Gray turning his back down to the mat, back into this half guard position. He's got the underhook on the near side, but he's going to have to address the arm around his neck if he's going to make progress from here. Tilt, yeah, in the half guard, fight for that near side underhook, and then basically start his underhook series. Um, you know, to try and get back on top and, and, and to try and escape that. But um, well, Cedric here trying to pass the guard, force the knee through. After a couple of heavy slaps coming down, uh, the, both fighters have really settled, um, I think. Ray's yet to get get a shot off, but you know between the two fighters, Ray is the more uh, systematic type player, yep. um, very stoic in the way that he goes about his business. Uh, and Cedric was always going to come in as the more aggressive fighter. Yeah, so I think Ray Ray's actually got one slap in, if I'm not mistaken, um, when he put Clyde in, in the guard. But yeah, he you rightfully said he hasn't really had a chance to. Unleash those slaps. Five stars, as I call them. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's a great shot there by Cedric. I feel them from um, here, bro. Most, most definitely making his presence felt and then utilizing, you know, part of this, this combat jiu-jitsu game is that you utilize those slaps to open up uh, entries into uh, better positions. Exactly. And because ultimately try force. Obviously the, the opponent needs to come defend, protect his face or protect where you're hitting, which hopefully leaves gaps uh, and opportunities 
to do something else. We're quickly approaching the five minute mark in this matchup. Uh, once again, to remind our folks at home, there is a title on the line. It will be the first combat jiu-jitsu title. Uh, from the WTA format and there we go Raymond making his way on top in the front headlock This is probably one of the first position. Uh, this is Ray's situation. signature there right? we go. Ray he's, loves he's dropping, dropping down into the anaconda. He's gonna try Place those legs over the top He needs to connect his hip to Cedric Doyle's hip and if he can He'll be very close to ending this matchup That is tight. That is tight. I mean Cedric is turning red there um, Ray's just going to stay. Oh, oh, there we go. Ray taking full advantage of getting to the back and unleashing a couple of slaps himself. Uh, I'd say they were a little lighter than, than what was felt by Cedric, but uh, fantastic jiu-jitsu on offer here, ladies and gentlemen. Great to see the attack and the transition um, from when he was at the bottom to basically, you know, that... I'm a great believer. Underhook, so underrated people. Underrated underhook so much. Um, for me, before you even teach somebody an armbar, I, I think the first thing that should be drummed into move players, fighters, should be that underhook, should be just drilled into them. Because if you don't do it enough, you'll oh, never get up. Uh, Cedric attaching himself to the head and getting into a north south position, but uh, Raymond keeping the connection around the head and he's looking for Ezekiel from the bottom. He's, he's punching, punching that fist into the throat, creating an opportunity. Yeah, so that's that's going to cut blood supply off, right? And if well, it's cleaned uh, it up now, then so it's too. That's essentially what he's trying to do. Oh, nice. <laughs> what a scramble by both of the competitors tonight. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, this fight is living up to expectations. As expected. Now we just need to see a few more slaps. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have top talent on the show, ladies and gentlemen, and you wouldn't expect anything less, uh, particularly if you're fighting for a title. Um, they are most definitely going to leave it all out on the mat. Uh, Raymond finding the top uh, top half position right now. Cedric uh, offering up some slaps from the, from the rear end. He's going to have to watch out for the back of the head. Uh, I don't believe that component of it would be legal, but uh, yep. referee Bobby... Uh, Definitely good oversight on the action. So I think Ray just, he turned pro, didn't he? He had a pro MMA debut earlier this year. If I'm not mistaken. I think you are correct. Um, um, so it'll be, he's, he's used to being in these combative situations. So Clyde's going for a single leg and Ray just basically sprawls and defends that. And... Oh, dropping back go. down. Dropping back down. Now you will get the knee in. Sit through. Leg over. To try and Once finish. again, looking for that anaconda position. And now he's... Oh, he had the attachment against the hips, trying to move his hips further afar. But now locking his legs over the arms, that will make it all that more tighter. Um, that is very tight. I hope he doesn't abandon and he just keeps that over. So he's got to break him down, which is what he's doing. There most definitely seems to be a strategy here for Ray to, to hunt this particular submission tonight. Given the body mechanics that Ray has at his disposal, and uh, this, this, is a, this is a high percentage move for him. Um, also, you don't necessarily blow out your arms too, too far in this position. Correct. Um, so what he needs to do is just basically make that bicep connection a little bit tighter um, but he's doing super well in terms of putting those arms on the hips to stop Ray coming up and basically mounting um, there we go both competitors get back on their feet with one minute left to go and this is all action finding themselves in the guard uh, Cedric trying to pass to side control and probably use the rest of the time to get a couple more strikes in but as we're looking at this uh Cedric gets into the mount position nice i'm in triangle here but where is defending attempt um, needs to kind of 
dismount a little bit and come to the road. But he's looking, he's looking to try to take him over on that sweep, but now settling down. Cedric uh, dismounting. He needs to scroll out. Would look to get that chest onto the floor. Ray's got 15 seconds on the clock to, to hold up. Try to this seconds, out. Absolutely. Ray won't have. Lo lots of attention from the crowd on this uh, match tonight. Ray Pure won't. excitement in this com <laughs> combat jiu-jitsu format. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This fight is going to overtime. Uh, fantastic resilience by Ray over there right at the end. Uh, Cedric put uh, maximum effort into trying to finish that in regular time. Uh, he um, spent a lot of time on the top there for a while. Um, and Ray's resilience obviously came through. Um, <clears throat> to fight back and basically, you know, have his own submission attempts. I think two very, very well executed. Obviously, just couldn't finish in terms of getting to that mount position or basically connecting his hips um, to finish that uh, the anaconda. Run. And it seems as though Ray won the coin toss, uh, so the decision is his. Trying to get a. Few, few deep breaths, and they're both uh, both competitors going to the corners, getting a little bit of advice, get get some water in. If you won the coin toss, what would you do, Ty? Uh, I'm I'm going to the the back uh, all day long. Okay. All day long. First or? Uh, I would I wouldn't want to want to set the tone by taking the back first, uh, ensuring that uh, I I understand what needs to be done in the second half of the match. Yep. Um, you know uh, the system that we have at Quan Vessels uh, readies us for this. Uh, for this situation, so it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see whether Ray systematically follows the cues that he needs to. Indeed, to, to and you can see how tight he is with that chest back connection. His head is in the right position. Uh, he's got a body lock on now, and body yeah, he's he's, uh, he's not letting that head move right. So he's trying to break all the um, Cedric's posture there. Oh, nearly oh, he's He's able to go a fantastic escape by Cedric uh, within 19 seconds. It's going to be a difficult one for Ray. Um, Ray's a slippery. Eh? He is slippery, Ray's but, slippery. but that, that was fantastic effort by Cedric. Gamba. Absolutely. And uh, uh, 19 seconds, you know, what, what tends to happen in these situations, and, and hence why I said I, I'd love to go first, is because now you know that uh, all you have to do is hold on for dear life. You understand what, what's at play here. Ray, oh my goodness, an absolute screamer from Raymond Akat. <laughs> I told you, he's Razor Ramon. <laughs> and we have the... Uh, I've rolled with this guy, I don't promise you. Big man, Justin Archer. <laughs> what an brilliant. effort. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, that's fantastic. And there we see another title head back to the Quan Vessel stable. Uh, after Monique Kamaus van Staden and Warren King, we now have uh, Raymond de Kutt, uh going to have the strap put around his waist. And the crowd really appreciating it. Um, cannot say that he did not deserve uh, to run that out, it took with a lot that of escape, just that escape that, alone, just that escape, is, and, uh, uh, was, is worth its weight in gold. <laughs> Lovely camaraderie there. If, uh, we see Warren King shaking hands, obviously with um, with the uh, opposition corner. And there we have it, guys. Uh, we have a newly crowned Razor champion. And look what happened here. He's getting promoted. He's getting his purple belt. Brilliant. That's fantastic. What a nice touch. What a fantastic touch. Uh, what a nice touch. Raymond joins uh, a couple of uh, purples out of Quan Vessels, including uh, the gentleman right next uh, door to me. Uh, and uh, he makes his way up to see us uh, to give us a couple of words. Over to you, see us. Raymond, two reasons to celebrate tonight. You must be on top of the world. Hey, two bolts for one. I wasn't expecting this, but 
Yeah, I'm grateful. Like, this whole camp, uh, a lot of adversity that I've had to go through, like the ones close to me, they know what I've been through just to get you in one piece. And to pull this off, like, your, the voice in your head can get so loud sometimes, it starts like really trying to talk you out of things, you know? I mean, yeah, when these moments happen and everything comes together, it just makes it worth it, so. Yeah, well, you had some incredible support here tonight. Um, up against a formidable opponent, what was the strategy? Because you knew he was going to be aggressive. Uh, yeah, so I knew, I knew Cedric was going to bring out the best of me in the sense that sometimes you have an opponent that's not, like, aggressive and doesn't, like, come for you and doesn't try to hurt you. And sometimes that forces, like, passivity out of me. So knowing that Cedric was going to be coming for me, bringing that aggression and everything like that, I think it helped me rise to the occasion. I feel like I took a couple minutes to kind of switch on, but once I was going, uh, yeah, I felt like I finally found my flow. And yeah, it all worked out, man. Like, well, you've made history tonight. Uh, what's next for you? I mean, uh, let it all sink in, I suppose, but what's next? Um, so uh, just get a bit of a recovery in and then get ready to either take an MMA fight or defend my belts in December, uh, depending on how my body's feeling. But I'm feeling pretty good right now, so I think it could be a, a good option. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Raymond Razor Aker. The CMH Group, not just your local dealership, but the motoring team dedicated to your vehicle needs. Whether you are looking to buy a new or used car online or in one of our many dealerships, our trained staff will be there to guide you. With our state-of-the-art service centers, products and parts, we guarantee peace of mind. The CMH Group isn't just the first choice, we are the only choice. Visit your local CMH Group dealers today